Hi there, I'm Math Mom, and today we're going to be talking about Common Denominators! And we need to know about Common Denominators because we use Common Denominators to compare fractions, to order them from least to greatest. So Math Mom, uh, what is a Common Denominator? Okay, so for example, if we have two fractions, uh, something like two-fifths and three-sevenths, can you tell which fraction is smaller no. and which is larger? Okay, what we need to do is the fractions have to have the same denominator and if they have the same denominator then we can compare them, we can tell which one is larger and which one is smaller. Now in order to choose a common denominator we have to think of a number that can be divided by 5 as well as 7. What's a number that we can divide by 5 and divide by 6? 35. Great. Now, we already talked about equivalent fractions, so what we're going to do is we're going to rewrite 2 fifths as an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 35. Now, what's the rule, honey? What you do to the bottom, you do to the top. That's right. What do we have to multiply 5 by in order to get up to 35? 7. Okay. 5 times 7 is 35. So what we uh, then we have to multiply 2 by? 7. And that gives us how much, honey? 14. Thanks, hon. So we've written our 2 fifths as an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 35. And because 7 also goes into 35, we're going to do the same thing for our other fraction, 3 sevenths. As an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 35, what do we multiply 7 by to get up to 35? 5. five. Yeah, because it's just the opposite here, right? So that's times 5, and what's 3 times 5? 15. Oh, look how close together the fractions are. Okay, now, we've, re we've rewritten 2 fifths as 14 over 35 and 3 sevenths as 15 over 35. So now we can compare our two fractions, 14 over 35 and 15 over 35, and now we can tell which one is bigger, which, one, which fraction is bigger. 3 sevenths. Yeah, 3 sevenths, that's 15 over 35. So 3 sevenths is bigger than 2 fifths. And on a test, if you were asked to order these fractions from least to greatest, the answer would be 2 fifths, comma, 3 sevenths. Should we do another example? Sure. Okay. Let's compare... Um, why don't we do uh, 4 over 6, um, 3 over 12, and uh, 1 over 3. 4 6, 3 twelfths, and 1 third. And we're going to order these from smallest to largest, from least to greatest. What uh, what common denominator can we use to compare these three fractions? Let's see, we can use 12. <laughs> yeah, we can use 12 because 6 goes into 12 and 3 also goes into 12 and one denominator is already 12. Is that okay, honey? Yes. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to rewrite these two fractions so that all have the denominator of 12, a common denominator, and then we're going to be able to compare the fractions, okay? So if we have 4 6, what do we do? We multiply it by 2 to get to 12. Okay, because we're going to write an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 12. And what we do, what do we multiply by 6 to get two. to 12? Okay, and then we multiply 4 by 2, two. which is 8. And that gives us a, a, a numerator of 8. Now we're going to have to do the same thing with 1 third. And our common denominator is 12. 3 multiplied by what gives us 12? 4. Okay. 4. Okay, and 1 times 4? Four. 4. Now, we can rewrite our fractions. Um, in order from least to greatest. Can you do this just by looking at the board or do we need to, to
to rewrite one. What's the no, smallest two. fraction here? Three twelfths, because three twelfths already has oh, a yeah, denominator three twelfths. Yeah, twelfths. That's right. So three twelfths is the smallest one. So that takes care of that one. What's the next smallest fraction? One third. It sure is, honey. Look, because four twelfths is the next one. One third. We've taken care of that one. And our last fraction? Four sixths. Four sixths. And we've ordered them. We've got three twelfths. One third was four twelfths. Um. And four sixths was eight twelfths. Okay? So on a test, if you're given a number of fractions and asked to put them in order, what's the first thing that you have to do? Find a, find a common denominator. Find a common denominator. And what's the definition of a common denominator? A it's de a number that well. can be divided by... Here, I'm, I'm giving you the definition. A common denominator is a number that can be divided by all the denominators that are in the list. Oh, thanks for clearing that up. <laughs> okay. All right. Thanks so much for watching, and uh, come back next time.